But now Suzanne Wall, who is a resident here in Highland Park and joins us now, tells me that she sees it differently. And Suzanne, you said you, you did a survey uh, over the weekend. What did you see at local businesses? Well, please zoom in on this. You can see what we saw. We uh, canvassed a group of us, including my 13-year-old daughter who took the photos. We canvassed over 20 restaurants in this downtown area on uh, Saturday the 15th, and this is what we saw. Empty dining rooms. The business owners, the restaurants, our mandate in Highland Park, the sole mandate in Lake County, is a little bit unlike the other mandates because it solely targets restaurants. It doesn't include gyms. Oh. Uh, yes, it doesn't include entertainment venues. Um, this is why we're having the rally. The rally is the 23rd right here at noon in Port Clinton Square, and it's actually one day before the city council meeting to discuss the mandate, which they implemented um, in a last-minute meeting on December 29th when many of our residents, including members of city council, were out of town. And what I find especially funny is that members of city council were out of town in places with no mandates mm -hmm. while they were actually implementing this mandate. It's killing our businesses. I met with some restaurant owners a couple days ago, Wednesday evening, and one of them said to me, if this can continues, we can't continue. And Highland Park can't continue like this. We need our businesses. We need a vibrant town. I'm imploring the city council on the 24th, remove the mandate.